This will be a review for the Cam Scanner app. You can download this app for both Android devices and Apple devices from either the Play Store or the Apple Store. Um, what this app will let you do is it'll let you take in picture of whatever page you want to convert into a PDF. Um, it acts very much like a scanner. So let's just say this page is something that I want to scan in. Um, I'm going to select what is known as the batch mode here. Um, that means that I'm going to be scanning multiple pages. So when I'm ready, I just kind of center it and take my picture. I can do some light cropping later on. And so here's going to be my second page. And then if I want to add in a third page, I can go ahead and add that in as well. Now, once I'm finished adding all the pages I want to add, I click on the little check mark button, and then it'll allow me to go in and make a few edits. So you just click on the page, and then you can go ahead and select the little cropping tool. And you could select just the page part. Um, once you're ready, you can go ahead and click the check mark. Um, you could also rotate if you'd like, but since that's okay, there you go. Um, once the document looks okay, go ahead and click the check mark again. And then you can go ahead and go to your next page. And again, I can see that this needs a little bit of cropping, so I'm going to go ahead and select the Crop tool. And for the most part, it'll try to auto-crop, but sometimes it cuts off the page, so you'll need to extend it out a little bit to make sure that it fits the entire page. And again, once you're okay with it, you can go ahead and click the check mark and then you can go ahead and move on to the next page and do the same thing again. So one more thing on this last page that I'm going to go ahead and show you. Um, again, as you can see, it auto-cropped for me. Um, once you hit the check mark, I usually leave it in the default black and white setting that you see here in the corner. Um, but you can switch it over to something like gray mode, magic color. It, it just depends on what you want the page to look like. So in gray mode, it's going to change it to a black and white image in match and this these will all convert into PDFs um, if you want the page to show color um, you can go into magic color since this is a white page it really doesn't show anything um, you could even go into the light mode um, and there's some settings down here that you can play around with if you need to um, I will typically leave it in the black and white mode it tends to leave the page uh, a lot cleaner and also it seems to be a lot better for printing so once you're done with all of that, one of the other useful tools I find with Cam Scanner is you can upload this to your Google Drive. In order to do that, click on the Share button on the bottom, and then you're going to share this as a PDF file. You can share it as a JPEG if you want, but since you're probably going to publish this on School Loop, it's easier to do it as a PDF file. And then you'll click on Drive. In my settings, when I first opened my Cam Scanner account, I linked it to my eSide account. Um, you could link it to any Google Drive account you want to from the Settings tab. And then it'll ask you what folder you want to put it into. If you want to change any of these, you just click on it, and then you can change it to a different account. Um, also, you might want to rename this, so I'm just going to pick some random name here. And once you're done, just go ahead and click the Save. You'll notice this little icon here means that it's uploading to your Google Drive. And so here it is in my Google Drive. So if I click it, um, this should be the images that we scanned and uploaded. And if you want, you can go ahead and get a direct link for your students. So this you can just copy and paste into School Loop, and then they'll be redirected to this PDF file that they can download and print when they want. Now there's another way to upload PDF files to your Google Drive. Um, I don't use it because I don't think there's as many features as there is in Cam Scanner, and I've been using Cam Scanner a little bit longer. But it's also possible to do it directly from Google Drive. So once you're in Google Drive, you just open up the folder you want to upload into and then you click this little plus button and then you're gonna click the scan button now from the scan button um, you just go ahead and scan in your pages
And if you'd like to add another, just click on the little plus button right here. And then go ahead and scan in the next one. And it kind of does what Cam Scanner does. It tries to auto crop for you. So long as there's a high contrast in the background. So once you've checked them and you think they look okay, you can go ahead and click the check mark and it will upload it into your Google Drive. So that's just one more way to get PDF files inside of your Google Drive. And this is available both on Android phones and on Apple phones. So hopefully you found that useful.